December 4th, 2020. There's Provo down there, BYU. That's where I went to college. A degree in financial and estate planning in 81. Well, look, I got my Trump flag, JFK Jr., on the truck. And I'm learning how fast you can go with them, you know, before they start shredding. But boy, I went to Colonial Flag and got some good stuff. So I got, the, got that there. Yep, there's White Mountain when I went to BYU. I walked up there once. And then one time I took my cycle up there. We still got some fall colors. There's Mount Timp from this perspective. And uh, so you folks not from Utah, this is Utah Valley, Utah County. And I used to, I used to call it Happy Valley. But uh, there's all kinds of people as we, oh, look at that sunset, this is beautiful. Okay, so. A little different perspective to you folks that uh, that aren't around here. Um, you know, Utah is really beautiful. I think every place has its own beauty. But look, there's the there's the mountains up there. So um, as the sun is setting on the bad guys, I was reading. Thanks to Juan, I uh, was reading the book of Esther this morning. And I admit, I've only probably read it twice in my life, once in English and one in Spanish, cover to cover on the Bible. But what a story with Mordecai and Esther. Okay, oh, there we go. Looks like the sun is setting on the cabal. But this is a struggle. This is a struggle between good and evil. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Look, oh, I love the mountains. I just love them. I love California, too. I love California, and I'm kind of feel bad for what Gavin Grusom's doing out there with all the BS that he's up to. Um, so Juan, you know, you just—it's humbling how how fantastic Juan knows about the scriptures. I mean, the way he tells the stories. So here's what I'd say. You know, there's probably a bunch of people like you, like uh, like me out there that haven't read Esther recently. Pero yo te digo que Juan, and I'm going to do this because somebody, one of the people said, hey, Brent, talk in Spanish a little bit. Que Juan enseña, él puede enseñar muy bien. Tiene un montón de sabi sabiduría con la Biblia y puede uh, contar cuentos ex Muy bien. Es, él puede comunicar en una manera excelente. Juan's amazing. He's just amazing. And so I love him. And I love Aaron Day. And frankly, I kind of, I love everybody. But I kind of just, at this point in time, you know, it's intent. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Sunset on Hawaii Mountain. You know, I want to be around people that, that get it. And... It's, uh, I've met some people because of, because of my channel and, uh, oh my gosh, look how beautiful it is up there. Oh, I tell you, man, the mountains, some of the history way back is the feds didn't want the Mormons living up there. So they made it all national because the Mormons would have held out in the, in the mountains. But I, in my view, this is Isaiah, where Isaiah wants us in the last days, but back to 107, okay? There's that beautiful sunset. Um, Juan loves the Bible. He loves scriptures. And, you know, one of my late great friends, he's dead now, but he used to say, Brent, the most important gift is the gift of discernment. And I think it is. And I see people, that's why I've got my, my Trump flags, you know, going on here and I'm learning how to, drive around. I'm going to find some folks to drive around with. Um, I pulled up next to somebody today and they had a couple flags on. But we're out here. We're out here. It's just people don't know that, yeah, Trump won. And he's just, um, he and the Q team are just fantastic at showing the massive fraud. And, you know, you can try to ignore it. I mean, if you, if you watch just like read CNN 
it's so separated from reality. It's like, it's like 100% fake news, okay? It's not even, Satan's not even doing a good job with those guys anymore because they're so out of it. And then one of, one of my favorite things is, I can't believe Giuliani, what he's doing. But some mask guy, some guy wearing a face tag goes, there's no evidence, there's no proof. And Giuliani just, just nailed him. He said, like, I got, what, 300 affidavits, sworn affidavits here, you know. And it's just the cracking is cracking and cracking and cracking and cracking and cracking and cracking and cracking. And this, like Juan says, you got to be in the battle. Even if you're going to die tonight, you got to be in the battle. And then Juan, one of my favorite, you know, one of my scriptures, Juan said it because I have a great friend and sent me a link and I was looking and there's this really cool black guy and he's, he was on Juan's channel. And he's the guy that designed the artwork for Kid by the Side of the Road. I didn't even know that. And so Juan talks about the book of Revelations. If you're not hot or cold and you're lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth, what God says in the book of Revelations. So there's some people coming down the mountain. I think I'll catch a little sunset here because, you know, I'm not, I haven't been up here for probably 40 years or so. Um, this is the test. This is the test. And everybody, all of us have our own contributions. You know, I went into a store the other day and I, no mask on, of course not. And neither did this lady. And, uh, all right, way to go, you guys, all the way up there, man. Hey, B, hi there. All right, how you doing, pal? <laughs> I went to BYU a long time ago and rode my cycle up there 40 years ago. <laughs> hey, doggy. <laughs> no, it's bro <laughs> no, he's full of love. You guys have a great day, okay? <laughs> I'm glad animals like me. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Okay. So, Juan 07, muchísimas gracias por todo. Y si la gente... Hay que pensar un poco que Juan... El nombre de Juan, ¿cómo es en inglés, Juan? ¿Cómo es en inglés? ¿Qué te parece? John, I'm full of joy and... Uh, beautiful earth that God created for us. And so, the meek shall inherit the earth for a thousand years. So I wanna humble myself. I think we should all repent, pray for Sidney Powell and Lynn Wood and all the people. You know, those five guys that gave their lives securing the servers from the clowns in America. God bless those five guys. They're up in heaven, man because this is it. This is the final battle and we, we, we have to win and we are gonna win, uh, but the battle's not over. We're gonna win, we're gonna win. And I kind of feel like saying this, fight for the truth no matter what, even if you have to give your life doing so, because there's a lot of people that have given their lives for our liberty. So let's not be luke lukewarm, let's try to be on fire like 107 who's working incessantly for the cause of truth. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.